I've got this early 2011 MacBook Pro and the battery has started bulging, so the trackpad can't be pressed anymore, and the battery is actually bulging so much it's pushing the case apart. My goal is to see how it runs just on the adapter, so I'm going to take the bottom cover off, take the battery out, and then see how it runs when I plug it back into an adapter without a battery. Everything looks surprisingly clean in here, and it doesn't look like the battery has leaked at all, but it did bulge out quite a bit, and the plastic enclosure of the battery pack has actually popped away from the two screws that hold it in. So to unplug the battery from the main board, I just push up on the connector until it pops out, and this one screw still is holding the battery pack partly in place, even though part of it broke away from the screw. So I have to take out the screw, and I'm going to take both out, because there's still bits of plastic around the screw that I want to clean out. And now I can finally lift the battery pack out, and I can put this aside for recycling. The trackpad looks relatively intact. The battery is held in by these Y-tip or tri-wing or whatever they're actually called, special security screws. So I had to use a special bit to get those out. It basically looks like a Phillips, except it only has three sides instead of four. So I'm just about ready to close this back up and see how it runs. Looks like the trackpad is seated well and can be pushed down on all the edges. It's no longer popping out of the case. And this part of the case that was really bulging open, it's still got a bit of a bend in it. There's really not much I can do about it, and I don't think it's going to matter. So I'm going to put it back together. That part of the case that was bulging out, it's mostly closed back up. It's got a bit of a gap and a little play in it, but it went back together better than I thought it might. So again, with the case fully together, the trackpad seems good. Now I want to get it set up on the desktop, plug everything back in, and plug in the power and see how it works. So it started booting itself up, and now I can log in. So I want to test the trackpad first of all, so I typed in a Google search, just so I can move the mouse cursor around and check out how clicking works, and it seems like it works. In order to run at full speed, it does use the battery for its power source, because the wall charger isn't enough power to run at maximum load. So in order to keep up, it reduces the speed. So I'll check that. I'm running Intel Power Gadget for checking the CPU speed, and I didn't run this before when the battery was installed, because I really didn't want to power this thing up. But it is a 2.3 gigahertz, so with that, Right now, with no battery, according to this, it's running at 0.8 gigahertz, or 800 megahertz. So it's running about a third of its capable speed, and I do notice it's a little slow, but it's only really noticeable when I'm launching something or closing something down and there's a lot of processing and disk access. But once I have something launched, like if I'm loading a, a web browser, everything seems to run relatively normal. So this I think I can live with, at least for now. I'm not going to be in a hurry to go out and buy another battery, particularly because they're probably all just new old stock and hit and miss. You pay for a battery and it may or may not hold a charge, so I'd rather not go down that route unless I really have to. And for now it looks like I'm good with this as a desktop machine. So this worked out well. I can go recycle the battery and still use the computer in the meantime until I can afford to get a new one. It has been over seven years, maybe it's time to upgrade. Crisis averted, for now.